Carlo started as a student production assistant at KPBS in 1973. And I never left. I continued to work there for 47 years when I decided uh, uh, in December of 2020 to retire. A remarkable career that began his junior year when some fellow students asked him to direct a senior project they were filming and it won a national award for best student production. We didn't get to go to an award ceremony, we just got the certificate sent to us in the mail, but it was still a prestigious award. But his passion was documentaries, which he begged station management to shoot. And finally, after really being a nuisance in terms of begging to get a chance to do it, uh, the general manager at the time, Paul Steen, said, okay, we're going to let you shoot the documentary. And uh, it was a documentary on the Asian court at what now is the San Diego Museum of Art. And I shot it. I put my heart and soul into it. And I won an Emmy for it as, as a student while I was still an undergraduate. Among his later famous classmates were Hollywood blockbuster producer and Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy. Academy Award-winning cinematographer Russell Carpenter and television producer and director Jeff Melman. These were the type of people that I was on the crew and going to school at San Diego State. And there was a time when I said to myself, geez, I hope I'm talented enough to work in this profession. I can't believe all these people that are going to San Diego State. But that really proved to me the quality of education that we were getting at San Diego State University at the time. After graduating, he was hired full-time as a cinematographer and documentary films director at KPBS. Working on a project with SDSU's football team, he was struck by the notion of shooting for NFL films. And I did a couple of practice games in 1977. They hired me in 1978. The very first game that I worked for NFL films as a paid cinematographer was on September 10th of 1978. The Oakland Raiders played the San Diego Chargers. And it was that game that one of the most famous plays in the history of the NFL took place. The play they called the Holy Roller, Raiders versus Chargers with the clock running out. About to be sacked, the Raiders quarterback fumbled the ball forward with two teammates helping it roll into the end zone. It was ruled a touchdown for the Raiders win. And it was at that point there that NFL film said, well, this is your very first game. You need to do this all the time. So I started working on Sundays during football season for NFL films. Which he would do for 41 seasons, filming more than 500 NFL games, including 15 Super Bowls, and in 1991, earning a National Emmy for his cinematography on the show Inside the NFL. And it was really a very, very exciting second career for me. And, you know, here I was someone that would uh, uh, wear shorts or didn't shave on game day for the NFL. And then they would say, you run a TV and radio station and wear a suit every day? Indeed he did, working his way up to general manager and helping establish KPBS as one of the top public broadcasting entities in the nation, growing its membership, staff, and budget, and now looking to the future with a facilities upgrade and expansion, always emphasizing that KPBS is a public service of San Diego State University. I just have felt that KPBS is one small part of the great success of this university and I feel that if KPBS and San Diego State or San Diego State and KPBS can be together in what they try to do to service the community, it's just going to make both organizations very successful and it's really going to make the community even more proud of the fact that KPBS and San Diego State are synonymous with each other.